All right, everybody, let's talk about the four financial statements that every corporation has to prepare. Every year, and in fact, every quarter, you must present an income statement. Now, the income statement shows that the company performed over a period of time. You have revenues, that's all the money you've earned over the period, you subtract expenses. Those are all the costs of new business. The result is net income, aka profit. The second statement is the statement of owner's equity. This is a bit of a less important statement. All it really does is shows you how much earnings the company has retained in the business in other words, reinvested back in the business, and of those earnings, uh, how much is the company now paying out to shareholders as a dividend? That's what a dividend is. It's giving profit back to the shareholders. The third financial statement is very important. It's called the balance sheet. The balance sheet shows a company's financial position at a point in time. There's really three elements. You have assets equal to liabilities plus equity. Now, if you rearrange the equation, you have assets minus liabilities equals equity. Assets are all the things of value that you own. Liabilities are all the things that you owe others. So we're saying, everything I own minus all that I owe other people equals equity or net worth. It's called the balance sheet because it always balances. There is never a point in time that it does not equal, ever. The final statement is the statement of cash flows. We will not be examining this statement in this class in really any detail. It's very advanced. All right, guys, so let's do some transaction analysis. And by doing this, you're going to see how the Accounting equation, that balance sheet equation, assets equal to liabilities plus equity. You'll see how that always balances. So Chris Clark started his own company in Net Solutions. What he's going to do initially is put $25,000 of his own money into the company. Uh, assets of the company go up 25000 which asset cash and equity goes up 25,000. The next thing he does is he buys a piece of land. Now, nothing really happens to equity here. You're essentially taking one asset cash and trading it for another asset land. The next thing he does is he buys supplies he agrees to pay the supplier in the near future. So assets go up, supplies is up thirteen fifty. Notice you now have a liability. It's called accounts payable. That's a very common liability when you owe money and you're going to pay it relatively soon. Alright, next thing that happens is you have a little business you receive $7,500 for providing services to your customers. So cash goes up $7,500 and owner's equity is gonna go up $7,500. Your textbook loves to use this fees earned account. I personally have never heard of it. I've been in the accounting game for over a decade uh, everyone calls it revenue, so just keep that in mind, guys. You know, you can follow along in the book 
understand they're going to use fees earned, but understand that no one will ever say that again in any of your accounting classes. It's called revenue. Now, you can't have a lot of kinds of revenue, rent revenue, interest revenue from earning interest. The most two, the two most common types are service revenue and sales revenue. Now, service revenue is like you provide services, someone pays you. Um, sales revenue is usually when you sell a good, a product. All right, so next thing that happens is that you have some expenses. Now, guys, I want to point out the following. When you bought the supplies, there was no expense. You will only expense supplies when you use them up. This is a very, very important concept. So in accounting, it's not about when you spend the cash. It's about as you use things up, you expense them. And so with that out of the way, we have the following expenses. You got rent, utilities miscellaneous oh and also wages so as you can see over here we're going to label them the names are not too difficult to remember just stick the word expense after the uh the name of it there you go uh, that will directly lower your equity and also lower your cash Next thing we do is we're going to pay that supplier for those supplies we bought earlier. So as you pay them, obviously your assets go down, cash goes down, but your liability also goes down. Notice how it still balances. And here we are at the end of the month. You basically determine the cost of supplies on hand at the end of the month is five hundred and fifty dollars so we must have used up eight hundred dollars worth of supplies obviously we we have to write it down we have to subtract eight hundred here failing to do so would be very misleading now the equation must balance so we have a supplies expense Last thing we're going to do, uh, Chris Clark is going to take out $2,000 from the company for his personal use. So cash of the company goes down 2000 and the equity goes down 2000 This is a very similar to paying a dividend. Now, if you keep good track of things, you know the balance in every single account. In reality, accounts use Microsoft Excel. Now, to summarize here with equity, when you make investments in the company, you are increasing equity. You take money out, decreases it. You make money, revenue, you increase your equity. You have expenses, you decrease it.